Next, we're going to have Alice Barisan um, and Rosano Shinfanel um, from uh, nearby Turin University. I'm Alice Battistano, a PhD candidate at the University of Turin, and today I'm going to talk about modeling accessibility to public green using OSM data. This is very much on, an ongoing project with my uh, PhD supervisor, so all comments are uh, very welcome. Um, it all started with the UN uh, SDG that I think we all know what, what they are, and in particular with the target 11.7, which states that by 2030, cities should provide universal access to safe, inclusive, and accessible green and public spaces for all demographies, but for some uh, demographies that are the, those more vulnerable in particular. Um, the, the target is there and always uh, is obviously needs to be monitored, but uh, what we feel like is that it also needs an environment for policymakers to be able to uh, design better policies. So we asked ourselves, can we use OpenStreetMap to build this environment? And is there an advantage in using OpenStreetMap compared to other um, data sources? Uh, we think this advantage exists. <laughs> First of all, um, OpenStreetMap allows us when, when, is, uh, when we look at the um, selection of green uh, areas that we, we are interested in to, to, to make a very customizable selection, but it also allows us to understand whether an area is actually accessible or, or not in the sense that we have all the tags related on, on, on whether the, the, the area is private or public, but also in the sense that we can compute walking distances using the, um, the street network in OpenStreetMap. And also the other uh, potential advantages is potential worldwide coverage, even though in the last few days we have uh, been discussed a lot about the data issue. So this is really just a potential. Um, what we are trying to do is to answer three research questions. I'm going to focus on two only in this uh, uh, venue. Uh, so in particular, we want to build a framework to consist consistently measure accessibility to public green areas at a very high resolution. And we want to uh, build this framework and embed it into an interactive tool that can be used by policymakers to, um, to, to model the impact of different policy scenarios uh, and build a better uh, and more sustainable city for the future. Um, so our interactive school tool uh, is going to look like a lot what you see in the middle column in the slide. Um, so what we are going to do is to uh, measure the accessibility or, and the, uh, assign an accessibility score to each location in uh, uh, different uh, uh, urban centers around the world. Um, and this is done at very high resolution. And in particular, what, what, what I think we, what we really like is that um, it is going to be possible for the person playing with this tool to customize the, 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 the index that they are creating by selecting the type of green areas that they are interested in and the size of the green areas and the type of index that they want to play with. So whether it's a minimum distance measuring how far the closest um, uh, green area is or whether it's an exposure index. And it obviously allows us to compare um, different uh, areas within, uh, within the same cities to understand which areas are missing out, but also to compare across different cities. And it also gives us the opportunity to uh, contribute to the debate or, or how to make cities more sustainable um, in, a, in a very different way. So nowadays there's a lot of debate about whether um, cities who should try to build this green land and so big parks, uh, which obviously have a very important environmental impact. But what we really care about is that uh, when it comes to uh, understand the, to give the opportunity to people to enjoy the contact with nature uh, in urban systems, what really matters is to have a lot of uh, very small green areas that are the, the real backbone of a, a green infrastructure in, a, in, the, in an urban system. Um, in the case of Paris, for instance, approximately 30% of all the people that have a park within 10 minutes from their working, uh, working uh, location have uh, access to a relatively small uh, green area. And finally, uh, with our tool, we want to give policymakers the opportunity to uh, see what happens if they add a green area in a specific location and also to uh, simulate and try to um, uh, identify the better area to, uh, to build a new, a, new, a new green area or a new park so that the maximum um, amount of share of population is actually reached by the intervention. Thank you.